right now, if you have any disease or are concerned about any disease that you or someone in your family may have, whether it be cancer or heart disease or diabetes, if you have acid reflux, blood clots, varicose veins, asthma, arthritis, migraine, headaches, pain of any kind, insomnia, there are natural cures. No drugs, no surgical interventions. Stick around because you're going to want to hear the big reveal at end. These natural methods exist, but a group of companies and organizations aims to conceal this truth. Why? Let's begin with Big Pharma. Presently, more individuals than ever before are reliant on a ton of medications. Many of you watching may be using non-prescription or prescription drugs. Despite this surge in drug consumption, nearly every disease is on the rise. Cancer rates are escalating, heart disease is rampant, asthma cases are increasing, arthritis is prevalent, migraines afflict more people, and instances of colds and flus are more severe and enduring. Despite advancements in medical science and research technology, why aren't we achieving better health? This is the truth of the matter. Pharmaceutical companies are solely concerned with profit. When I tell you this, you may have doubts, but it's important to listen and open your eyes to reality. Pharmaceutical companies are publicly traded entities with one legal obligation, to boost shareholder value synonymous with increasing profit. It's a business. Observe the numerous drug advertisements on television. Their primary objective is to sell more drugs. In my opinion, pharmaceutical companies are not here to cure any disease because curing means no further need for their drugs. It's a blatant conflict of interest. The substantial funds allocated to research seldom explore natural remedies. Why? Simply put, herbs and homopathic remedies cannot be patented. If a substance can't be patented, pharmaceutical companies cannot monetize it. The FDA is part of this as well. While their mandate is consumer protection, they often prioritize safeguarding the profits of monopolies and pharmaceutical companies. I believe a comprehensive overhaul of the healthcare system is necessary, placing consumers at the forefront. As consumers become more informed and adopt healthier lifestyles, medical practitioners will lose a lot of business.